Hi, my name is Paul Steinke. I am head of service for Lelexa Manufacturing Company. The purpose of a clutch is to protect equipment and personnel in case a part of a machine gets jammed by a foreign object, such as a bag or locked up from mechanical failure. The clutch that is used on bagging equipment is a spring-loaded device that interacts with a custom sprocket or hub. Over time, the spring of a clutch can go bad and need to be changed. Today I would like to discuss how to change a clutch spring. Make sure you follow all safety procedures within your company rules, especially lockout tagout. First, the clutch tool is used to change the spring. It consists of a steel body with a hook on one end and a threaded rod that comes to a point on the other end. Attached to the threaded rod is a knob used to tighten or loosen the spring. The point of the threaded rod goes into the dimple end of the eye bolt and the hook goes through the slot in the clutch arm and is to rest on only the lip of the spring retainer cup. To change the spring, the first thing is to jog the machine until the spring is in an open area where the clutch tool can access it. Using a half inch wrench, back off the nut that provides tension on the spring so it is as weak as possible. Insert the point of the clutch tool's threaded rod into the dimple that is located on the back end of the eyeball. Rotate the knob until the hook on the clutch tool is in between the notch in the clutch arm so that it can rest on the flat lip of the spring retainer cup. Note that if you move the hook too far in, it will interfere with the tip of the eye bolt and bend the clutch tool. Rotate the clutch tool's knob until the hook pulls the spring retainer cup and the springs away from the clutch arm. It is important to note that the spring and retainer cup are under tension and if separated from the clutch tool will fly off and could cause injury or get lost. To prevent this, carefully pinch the retainer cup and clutch tool hook. Swing the eye bolt out until the spring clears the clutch arm. Rotate the clutch tool knob in the opposite direction until the tension on the spring is gone. Remove the clutch tool, spring retainer, and spring. Insert a new spring that has the same color as the old one. Add the spring retainer cup and rotate it until it matches the shape of the clutch arm. Using the clutch tool, again, place the rod's point into the eye bolt dimple and hook the retainer cup, but only on the flat part. Compress the spring enough to clear the clutch arm. Swing the eye bolt in until the spring retainer cup is lined up with the clutch arm. Unscrew the clutch tool's rod. Using the wrench, relocate the tension nut until it is in the same position as before. Verify that the new spring is correct by running the machine and seeing if it does not clutch out except when there is a jam. This is how you change a clutch spring. If you need any parts or service for your baggers and slicers, please contact Lenexa Manufacturing Company at 913-378-3800 or go to www.lenexamc.com. Thank you for your time.